Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, be sure and hit the subscribe button for more videos and tap the bell for notifications. And don't forget to hit the like button and let's go ahead and get started on today's video. I'm going to be talking about the zebra plant. And if you take a look here, you can see I've had it about a month and I'm already getting new growth on it. So I would say that it's a fairly fast growing plant, maybe kind of medium. Haven't had much problems with it. The leaves feel kind of waxy. And as you can see, it's striped. I love all the really pretty colors that's in it. I did forget to water it one day and it did get really droopy. So that's one way you'll know if you're watering it enough or not is if the leaves start to get a little droopy. This plant is from Brazil. And what I didn't know about it is at the end of every summer, it will get two to four little yellow uh, flowers on it and I thought that was just really pretty. Uh, I wasn't able to put a picture in there but if you just go on line and and uh, pull up the name you'll see that it has really pretty little yellow flowers on it. I thought that was really interesting. Now the flowers will only last about a week so you only get one week to enjoy those beautiful flowers. The leaves can get up to nine inches long. Some of them are already kind of big down here but they're not even half the size yet of of what they can reach so they can get you know about this much more so they can get quite a bit bigger they say this is a finicky plant and if you don't take care of it the leaves will start start to drop but I have not had that problem I haven't lost any leaves it did have a tiny little bit of brown leaf brown tips as you can see here but they already had that when I got them so I haven't had any problems since I got it and what I have found is it likes to be watered really well so over watering is going to be really hard to do unless you just have it soggy wet. So just make sure you water it really good. It can reach a height of two feet. So approximately maybe this much higher can get. So it can get quite full and pretty. It does require very bright lit room with high humidity. So you can go in there and just mist it really well every day. And hopefully that would be enough to keep it happy. I do mist probably every other day or every two or three days. Just whenever I'm in the mood, I'll go in there and miss it. I don't have any problem. Now they say it prefer, prefers to be watered with lukewarm water because it's so finicky. Again, I just use, uh, you know, room temperature water. Haven't had any problem with that. I do feed it every two weeks with miracle Grow plant food. And I did fertilize it. You can fertilize it every two weeks at half the strength and you shouldn't have any problem with it. Most multi-purpose peat-based potting soil mixes are fine in this kind of plant. Repotting. It suggests that you repot once a year. Always repot in the spring, never in the fall or winter because it goes into the dormant stage so you don't want to repot at that time. And then only go up one size more so they usually go in like two, four, six, eight inches so I think this is probably, I'm not sure what size pot this is, but just go up two inches, you should be fine. When um, the flowers on the plant start to die, be sure and remove them. Don't just leave them sitting on there. You want to make sure that you take off anything dead on the plant when you're pruning, just to keep the plant healthier and it will grow better doing it that way. Now. This plant is susceptible to, any, any plant can be susceptible to uh, bugs and that sort of thing. But this one doesn't have a, a high, um, you know, reception to that, but it can get white fly, mealy bugs, aphid scale, and spider mites. If you've ever had spider mites, they are so hard to get rid of. I had so much trouble getting rid of my spider mites on my jade plant, I ended up losing my jade plant. So you wanna just be careful and check your plant. I would check it weekly. Every time you water it, check it at that time. Too high humidity can cause fungal leaf spot disease. So just be careful not to over humidify it. Toxic, it says it is not toxic to cats and dogs. Again, you don't wanna let your, your animals play with your plants or chew on your plants or let children play with them or chew on them anyway, just for safety. But this one is non-toxic. So there you go. If you have any questions, be sure and link them below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.